Expecting compassion, sympathy is foolish. We are animals and weakness incentivizes attack. Humans thrive in groups, tribes, communities. And as a consequence of that, we have a knack for social contracts where we come up with unwritten rules, laws and etiquettes to regulate unpleasant behavior and keep the animalistic nature in check. Compassion is one of those traits that evolved in us as we became more civilized. And personally, I think it's more nurture than nature. At least compassion towards strangers and people that we aren't associated with on a personal level. With that being said, compassion plays a big role in our interpersonal relationships. It's a form of trust, reassurance that together let's say a group of people that are related to each other by blood, we will do everything possible to pass on the genome of our lineage down the line. And this is why family members care about each other indefinitely till the death do them apart. Remember, nothing in life is just. There's always some kind of a reason behind everything. In that sense, compassion towards family is quite understandable. But this video is more about compassion towards people that we have no relation to. About being a so-called empath. Now understand this, being empathic comes more natural to women. It's in their nature to create bonds and friendships that comprise a lot of people because that's the way they survived in the past. Being the weaker sex, they needed all support and help they could get from each other and from the men. Being politically correct, politicians of the past, being naturally nurturing, it comes easy to women to foster relationships. But being too compassionate, too empathic, always gives a weird vibe, let alone if it's a man, being overly nice and friendly. There's always some kind of a sketchy feeling, like being a nanny as a man. There's something just isn't right with that. Now don't get me wrong, compassion is a great trait and in its pure essence it showcases wisdom and a lot of knowledge. A hungry person, hungry in every way, cannot be compassionate because a hungry person don't have the self-awareness to show compassion. The primary task is to satiate the basic needs and with that they are at their most animalistic state. It's like trying to talk philosophy with a hungry person. They will hear your words, but they won't catch the essence of your message. Becoming compassionate comes with leveling up in consciousness and personal development. Being hungry in every way is being at lower levels of consciousness. Then there are people who are overly nice, compassionate, and even suffer from that condition. I've seen many video titles and comments from people telling about being compassionate and empaths and still being used by others due to their nature. And the reason is that true empathy, compassion demands a great sense of self-awareness, a solid core of a personality. Compassion without any agenda comes from a place of abundance and strength. It's genuine. It gives something and demands nothing. Compassion of that sort comes from a place of fulfillment. When your own so-called love tank is filled to the top, it doesn't diminish when you give to people. A kind of compassion that you show yourself first and foremost without expecting anything back. Compassion from a place of neediness and approval seeking comes from a place of fear, scarcity. You falsely try to be overly nice towards people so that you can get any kind of recognition, warmth and attention. That kind of overly nice attitude repels people and it shines through when they do that just so they can get social points. Being overly compassionate, most often than not, is the consequence of the second one. When you're scared, when you don't have love for yourself, when your esteem is at the bottom or at least so low that you have to have approval from others by making something good and virtues, having a wrong starting point. The difference is in the mindset and intention. That kind of an attitude, being too empathic, creates disorder. Because empathy, as I mentioned before, is not the natural state of a human being. We are animals and weakness incentivizes attack. Weakness is despised by our hierarchical social structure, predominantly 
masculine and patriarchal but that of course is on the verge to change and we all know why predators often attack weaker prey it's easier more convenient and demands less energy to hunt down also a consequence of law of the energy preservation we always try to do as little as possible to gain as much as possible and finding a weaker prey is just a jackpot for the animalistic nature of a human being especially a one who hasn't evolved as much in his consciousness and let's face it philosophers and spiritual people are in vast minority those who really understand this kind of stuff so expecting compassion sympathy understanding and support while being too compassionate is foolish people don't respect soft nature people respect strength and while you think that you are being nice and deserve more, think about this one. Easy is taken for granted. Hard is appreciated and respected. If you want to work more on your power and harness more of it, watch this playlist. What's your experience on empathy and showing compassion? Tell me in the comments. But for now, Hossein, out!